Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2020 in regards to love and romance. All right, Pisces, you have the Queen of Cups, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. Wow, what's going on? Seven of Swords, the World card, the Ace of Cups, and the Hierophant. Finally, some positive cards. And we have here, <coughs> excuse me, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Heavy ass energy. Pisces, what the hell? Okay. So right at the center, we have the Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, um, there was a walking away from a situation or walking away from a partnership, I should say, um, where there was a lot of craziness going on. Now, here we have your energy right in the beginning of the reading, Pisces, as the Queen of Cups. So this is talking to me about mature type of emotional energy you've been either trying to fix this relationship wanting to weather through it strengthen the relationship or really put effort into this partnership with the page of swords there was a lot of sneakiness that was going on a lot of like forceful type of energy now, we do have here the Three of Swords, so there was definitely some type of cheating involved here. Some type of betrayal, some type of feeling like you were let down. With the Seven of Swords, like I said, there was a lot of like sneakiness behavior. Um, I feel that at some point, Pisces, there was like you kind of lost track or lost sight of the relationship. It was more about what you were hoping in regards to the relationship instead of really seeing what was happening. And finally, it's like you started finding things out or things just didn't add up anymore and you started pay, paying more attention. Finally being able to see clearly and concisely that there was a lot of like sneaking, sneaking around, uh, not being completely honest, and you felt stuck. For some of you guys, it could even be like feeling stuck because of finances or feeling stuck because of circumstances. Now, you do have the world card here with the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. So for those of you guys that have been dealing with a partner that hasn't been completely honest, that hasn't, you know, hasn't been honest from the get-go, because look, you have the Three of Swords with the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So somebody wasn't seeing the picture like somebody was not paying attention i think it was you pisces i think it could have been you trying to be positive uh you trying to see that you know it's like you kept seeing signs everywhere that you know red flags and you just didn't want to pay attention or you were too optimistic but if you haven't dealt with this third party type of energy this is what's going to be unfolding for you in the month of april the end of April. Now, here's the thing. You're dealing with an immature type of energy, Pisces. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa, meaning this could be you, Pisces, that is the immature one. This could be you, the one that stepped out of the relationship. Keep that in mind. It's a general reading, so it could be vice versa. But here's the thing. If you've been dealing with the person that has continuously cheated on you and you've promised or convinced yourself that it wasn't true, that they were not cheating, that they're trying to fix the relationship, this is just you hopeful and being hopeful and wishful thinking. But when do you get to the point of being like honest with yourself, Pisces? Because the more you suppress this, the more you ignore it, it's like you're not doing yourself any favors. And you're also preventing your higher purpose, meaning you're preventing yourself from finding the guidance and the connection that you've been wanting that is clear and transparent that turns into long-term with the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. 
So I feel that for a lot of you guys that have been dealing with this type of energy, you've really been like basically clinging on to this relationship because you're wanting some type of commitment. But this is what you're getting. The three of swords and the seven of swords. There is lack of commitment. They're not being honest. They're just bullshitting you basically. And you're not wanting to see that clearly. Now, what spirit is telling you here is that you need to be honest with yourself, Pisces. You need to be honest with yourself. If this is you, the one that's been dealing with this third party type of energy and you've done this to your partner, keep in mind, if this plays out for you in April, don't sit there and point fingers because you're the one that started or you're the one that stepped out. So what they're telling you is that karma's coming back around. All right. If this is you, the one that stepped out now, if it's not and you're the hopeful Pisces, what spirit is telling you is that you got to be honest with yourself, Pisces. You can't blame anyone else for them, like not being honest because you have you've allowed certain things from the very beginning of this partnership. Um. And it's almost like they became your whole life. Like you've devoted yourself. You literally became the husband or wife before there was any type of commitment. And people get comfortable with that. So what Spirit is telling you is you got to wake up. You got to see things for what they really are. Where do you go on from here? If they come back around and try to prove something to you or try to even make it seem that they're wanting commitment, they're not. This is just their way of trying to hold on to you. And what spirit is telling you is, hey, Pisces, if you're really wanting commitment, if you're really wanting genuine connection, you got to close the door in this and stop opening the door to people from your past. Only then are you ending this this toxic circle, this toxic type of energy. You're ending that cycle and you're opening yourself up to new opportunities. And what do we have in these new opportunities? We have new love and commitment coming through for you. You got to be honest with yourself. See, I feel that someone was committed. Like there was some type of marriage involved. For some of you guys, it could have been that you were dealing with a partner that was sneaky as hell. Y'all didn't even know that this person was in a committed relationship and you probably found out that this person was married or that they were giving commitment somewhere else. But like I said, this person is coming back around. They're not done. They think they're not done. They're coming back around, but they're coming back around with their lying, cheating asses. My advice to you is close the damn door on that. You deserve much better than that. You deserve, I think, okay, so what Spirit is telling you here is that if you forgive a person for cheating one time to each their own, okay, um, on a personal level, I don't, when it comes to cheating, when it comes to disloyalty, I don't believe in second chances, sorry. <laughs> And I know this is something Spirit has spoke to me about. <laughs> but here's the thing, okay? When you love someone, when you care for someone, when you're truly committed to someone, what do you do? You try to accommodate them, right? You try to make everything perfect. You try to basically mold yourself into what you would think they would think was like perfect to you, right? I hope not, but I'm just, you know, generalizing this. And what happens with that? There's nothing you would not do. You would go above and beyond to make this person happy, right? That's exactly what a person that genuinely cares and loves you will do. So if they do the opposite of that, then they're not being sincere with their feelings or emotions towards you. Yes, everyone has lessons that they need to learn. We all need to grow. We all need to, you know, progress and, and expand and our awareness, everything, of course. But ultimately, when it comes to disloyalty, a person that genuinely cares and loves you will not do that. Why? 
because their respect for you is so strong that they wouldn't allow themselves to go down that road. Now, for those of you guys that believe in second chances, okay, you've given them an opportunity. If they let you down again, then you are the crazy person because you are trying to fix something that has been already broken and you continuously keep forgiving this behavior. It's not about forgiving them. It's about what they're doing to you. Therefore, you're forgiving this behavior. By you giving them the first or second forgiveness, then that just gives them right of reign to skate all over you. Why? Because you're teaching them how you want to be treated. You're teaching them, it's okay for you to cheat on me. It's okay for you to lie to me. It's okay for you not to be honest with me. It's about self-love. When you love yourself enough, you're not going to allow people to mistreat you. And the moment they do, you're going to show them the door. So what they're telling you here, Pisces, is that if this person has let you down, not once or twice, multiple times, it's time for you to walk away. Walk away. Don't hold on to the relationship because you feel like you want to be vindicated or because you feel like you want to en end up feeling like it was worth it all in the end. Don't sacrifice yourself and your happiness. You're doing a disservice to yourself by putting up with nonsense. When around the corner, there is an ending to this cycle, a new beginning, love coming in that is bringing to you commitment or the commitment you've wanted or you're looking for. Now, final spirits messages for you. Writing, career change, and music. Writing, you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Career change, you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. And music, your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So you may start to experience Pisces like feeling more creative uh, this could even be through the feeling of suppressed emotions where you just start to write down how you're feeling, uh, writing down poetry, right? Like just really tapping into your creative outlook. For some of you guys, this major change and transition with the world card and the three of swords, um, this could inspire you to want to, uh, you know, go after dreams or aspirations that perhaps you kind of lost sight of because of this relationship. For some of you guys, it could be exactly that career changes. With music, I feel that uh, Pisces, you guys are extremely uh, connected to your creative energy because it flows through you. It comes organically and very natural to you. I think that it's you're going to be experiencing from now all the way to May, like really tapping into that side of you, even those of you guys that have never really been exposed to your creative outlook. And I think it's going to help you not just in healing, but I think it's going to help you with really tuning into your energies, really finding yourself all over again, Pisces. Um, and here's the thing. If you guys have been dealing with this type of energy, my advice to you, my advice to you is to you know, like I said, on a personal level, do I believe in second chance, especially when we're talking about like disloyalty? I don't, but to each their own. And, you know, I respect that if, you know, you give an opportunity to a person that first opportunity that basically that first fuck up, like they should have learned. And if they didn't, don't sit there and try to force a relationship to work out when, when it's not. Because you're doing a disservice to yourself. You're keeping yourself. There's someone out there praying, hoping to find a man or a woman like you. And you're doing a disservice to yourself by watering yourself down to very low vibrations. All right. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.